Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to the Miranda Zone. It's your girl Miranda. So, I have wonderful news. I now have 916 subscribers. And I'm very, very excited about that. I've almost reached 1,000 subscribers so thank you all so much for subscribing to me let's reach that 1000 mark thank you guys for subscribing to me you know riding with me on my journey you know with life what I deal with and all that good stuff I just wanted to let you all know that I love each and every single one of you you guys mean a lot to me I know I, I say that all the time but I just want every single one of you who subscribe to me and leave me nice comments that I appreciate you so so much you don't even know like cause you guys do a whole lot for me just by sending me sweet comments or messages or you know whatever just by letting me know how important I am to you all and that just really touches my heart. Um, I need you guys to pray for me. If you guys are praying people, I think most of you are. But I, I need some prayer because, you know, here lately, I've been down on myself. I mean, I just don't really like the person that I am right now because I'm going through some stuff and I can't talk about it because it's personal, it's family, personal stuff. So I can't talk about it, but I'm just going through like a rough patch right now so you know plus like I said I'm not liking myself right now I don't like the way I look I don't like the way that here lately I've been treating people like I've realized some people that I talk to, the things that I say come out as sarcasm, and I, I honestly don't know why I'm doing those things. I don't even know why I'm doing that until someone points it out to me. And for those of you who have taken things that I say as sarcasm, I'm very sorry. I want you to know that I'm very sorry. I don't, I don't mean to come across, you know, as being sarcastic or mean or a rude person. But I'm hurting a lot of people with my attitude and, you know, what I say. And I just don't mean to do that. Because <clears throat> I don't want to become a crime. I don't want to come across this, you know, sarcastic witch of a person. I want people to know that. I am a really, really sweet young lady. 
I, I do realize that I need to learn to handle, you know, stress a whole lot better than the way I've been handling it. Because I haven't been handling the stress that I've been going through here lately very well. I haven't been handling it very well because it, I'm not in a, it's not a really bad situation. Like I said, I cannot say what's going on just because it's personal. I, all I can say is that it's not anything that anybody needs to worry about. I promise it's nothing like that. It's just, you know, something that I'm having a really, really hard time dealing with. Because I've never, I've never been through this type of thing that I'm going through right now. So I, I don't know how to react to it because it's totally new to me and it's new to other people that are going through it with me or, or whatever you know but I do believe it's something that we're all going to get through you know it's going to take it's going to take some time to get through it but I do believe that we will eventually get through it. <clears throat> but I just, right now I'm at the point in my life where I feel alone. I don't have friends. Well, actually I have one good friend I do and hopefully they will be featured in my videos soon if I can talk them into doing it to being in my videos I'm having a hard time talking this one particular friend uh, you know to being in my videos but yeah <clears throat> But yeah, I, I'm feeling alone about some things. I don't have, like, a friend to talk to about the things that I'm feeling. And you all know Christina. I've had her as a friend before until... She just up and decided she didn't want to be my friend anymore, but that's that's in the past. I'm not worried about that anymore. Nobody has to be my friend if they don't want to be. I'm not going to beg somebody to be my friend. <clears throat> but like I said, you know, I thought she was my friend until she just decided she couldn't handle my lifestyle so my disability got too much for her and that happens with a lot of people that I, to me that's why I feel like I can't get friends like I said I have one really really good friend and they know who they are and I don't think they would ever, this particular friend, well actually, I have two friends, one that I haven't met yet, but I consider them my friend because the friend that I have to my other friend, they are married to each other, so that's why I've that's why I said I have another friend that I haven't met yet because the friend that I have now, you know, 
they're married to my other friend. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> But anyways, like I said, those are the only two people that I have as friends. It's really hard because of my situation, my disability. It's really hard for me to get people to accept me for me, for the way I am. I want people to... I want people to know that I have a disability. People need to know that I have a disability, yes. But be okay with it. I want people to be okay with me having a disability and still want to be my friend. Most people that I meet or see or that I that I try to be friends with, they don't want to take the time to get to know me. It's like once somebody that has never seen me before sees me, then they judge me just like that. And I've tried my best not to let it bother me, but it does after so many people have done it to you, you know, you just get to the point where, you know, you don't, you know, it's not worth it. I see. I'm, I'm at that point too, where if people don't like me for me, this is, this is what my mind's set on right now. In my mind, I'm thinking if people don't like me for me, then I don't need a friend. But that's the wrong way of thinking. Just because there's this majority of people that doesn't take the time or that doesn't want to take the time to get to know me doesn't mean that there's not another majority of people that doesn't want to get to know me. Because I, be I believe there are people that wouldn't mind taking the time to get to know me because once you get to know me I can be a really really sweet person I feel like I'm a sweet person because I care about people I want people to think that or not not just I don't want people to just think that I'm a loving caring person I want people to know that I'm a sweet, loving, and caring person. And I want people to know that I'm a Christian. I mean, I, I try my best to act Christian. I'm not going to lie. I have a mouth on me. I either use bad language every once in a while, which I am not proud of, but I was around somebody for many years that used bad language for a long time. It was a friend that I've had for a long time. They used bad language like every day in every single sentence just about. So, when I was around that friend, it kind of grew on me, kind of rubbed off on me to where I was using bad language a lot. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm proud of that because I'm not. I'm trying my best not to use language <laughs> because I don't want people to think that I'm, the, I'm not trying to judge people, but to me, if you got a bad mouth on you, that gives you a, a potty mouth. And I don't want people to think that I have a potty mouth. 
because I don't. I have to be pretty angry to have a really bad potty mouth. I mean, every once in a while, I'll slip up and say things here and there. But I don't use bad, bad language. I, I never do that. But, I don't know, it just get, it gets really overwhelming when you're a loner, when you have no friend to talk to, or, you know, to, to just hang out with, or tell your problems to, or to even just hang out, you know, and have fun. See, Christina, when I was friends with her, she gave me a taste. Because I do believe she was my friend. Like, my real friend. For a little while. For at least four months. Until, you know, my lifestyle got too much for her to handle. But she gave me a big taste of what it was like to have an actual real friend. And I loved it because I confided in her. I'm pointing over here like she's over there. <laughs> but I confided in, in her. You know, when things were bothering me. Or if I needed like a, a shoulder to cry on or whatever. She was always there. And then, you know, after uh, after four months, about the fourth month, that whole month, she just, she was getting really distant with me. My mom knew where to, so she was really getting distant, not only with me, but she was getting that way with my mom, too. To where we just didn't talk at all anymore. But like I said, her situation is over the hill now. It's it's washed away. That don't bother me anymore. It took me a while to get over that. Because like I said, she gave me a, a really big taste of what it was like to have a friend. I mean, here I am having no friends at all to having a friend you know to having no friends at all again as far as girl wise or women wise <laughs> not a girl because I'm not a kid but you guys would you guys know what I mean but yeah it was that situation where she gave me this big taste of it. And then she just threw it away. <clears throat> I think people are people. Everybody has some sort of disability. Every single person has some type of disability or just plain something wrong with them because we're not perfect nobody in this world is perfect nobody but we are all meant to be loved and to have friends and family who love us. We are meant to be loved. There's all, there is someone out there for us. Whether if it's friends 
or in a relationship or in the marriage type. Me, I'm not looking for... <laughs> I'm a totally straight person. I love men and only men. I think it's I think it's good for girls to be friends with each other. But God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> sorry. If you guys don't like that, you know, I'm sorry about that, but that's just how I feel. So, I think it's good for girls to be friends with each other and guys were guys to be friends with each other. And I think guys and girls should be in relationships with each other. But I'm not looking to be in a relationship. I've had way too many guys do me wrong. So I'm, I'm just not ready to be in a relationship with a man right now. <clears throat> I mean, it would be cool if I had a boyfriend someday, but I'm, um, you know, when it get, when it when it happens, it happens. And I'm not going to dwell on it. If it doesn't happen. There's a saying that says, God has somebody for you. And I believe that. God has somebody for me. And I have to wait when God is ready for me to have that person. Back to when I said that I was feeling down like I am. I am feeling so down about myself. And I know I shouldn't feel that way. But right here lately, I hate, I hate, hate, hate looking at myself in the mirror right now. I'm looking at myself through the webcam talking to you all right now and I'm disgusted looking at myself <laughs> right now because I just I don't think that I'm a dog <laughs> I'm not a dog no I think I'm pretty I think every woman should think that they're pretty but I don't think that I'm beautiful. I don't feel like I'm a beautiful catch. I can try to beauty myself up. I can give myself as many haircuts, you know, put loads and loads of makeup on till I gotta chisel it off. You know, wear different outfits. You know. And I still would not be happy with myself. And I'm going to be real with y'all. Some of y'all are probably going to make fun of me because of this. And that's okay. I prefer you not make fun of me when I tell you this. But people that don't like me and that don't want to like me, that don't want to get to know me, are going to make fun of me. But I don't care. <laughs> I used to let rude comments that people would send me bother me. It bothered me so freaking bad. But I have to remind myself that God loves me. And that's all that matters. My family loves me. My friends that I have love me. 
And that's all that matters. The people that's going to talk, you know, out here, blah, 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 about you, they don't mean a hill of beans. They're not worth your time. If you got people talking, blah, 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 you know, saying bad stuff about you, either behind your back or to your freaking face, talking about blah, 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 you're ugly, blah, 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 you know, you're fat, blah, 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 blah. They're not worth your time. Be who you are. Now back to the thing that I was going to tell you that I know people are going to jump on when I say this. I am overweight. I know this. I know I'm overweight. I am doing my darndest to lose weight. I know I'm big. And that's one thing that I am not happy with right now. I am so down on myself about that. Here lately, I, I just can't stand myself. I love myself as far as my personality goes. But as far as the way I look, oh, I can't stand it. And people, I've had people on here on YouTube tell me how ugly and fat I am. You don't have to tell me what I already know. I don't think I'm ugly, but I don't think I'm... I, th I think I'm pretty, but I don't think I'm beautiful. But I know I'm pretty. And even if... I'm not saying I'm ugly on the outside. Because I don't think I am ugly on the outside. I'm not pretty, but I'm not... I mean, I'm pretty, but I'm not beautiful. But it doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is... It doesn't matter if you're beautiful on the outside. It matters if you're beautiful on the inside. If you're beautiful in the inside, then you're going to be beautiful everywhere. You're going to be beautiful not only inside, but outside too. Because if you're beautiful inside, the people that don't know you, that want to get to know you are gonna see how beautiful you are personality wise and most of them if they want to get to know you and be your friend they're gonna love you and for the people that see your personality you know that and they don't want to get to know you and they say bad things either to you or about you, you know, behind your back. Those are the people you don't want to be around. Those are the people that have issues, not you. You don't have those issues. They have those issues. I make jokes all the time about how sexy I am. I know I'm not sexy. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I've had guys on here tell me how sexy I am. And I, I don't mean to be accusing anybody of anything, but I think most of the people that tells me I'm sexy on here is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or or you're on some serious dope. <laughs> oh, people are going to get mad at me for saying that, but don't get mad at me for saying that. Just laugh about it, because I meant that to be funny. <clears throat> I had a doctor one time. The last time I was in the hospital was for cellulitis, because my legs are so huge. And it's not, I don't believe, and my parents don't believe it either. We don't believe it's because of what I eat. It's because the lack of exercise 
that I get. I don't get much exercise because of my disability. And like I said, I always watch what I eat. But one time I was in the hospital for three weeks over cellulitis. And that just means your legs swell. You can get cellulitis just from not having much circulation in your legs or not using your legs very much can cause cellulitis or if you get if you get bit by a round recluse that causes cellulitis too because I've gotten bitten by a brown recluse about a year or two ago and ended up in the hospital for like three weeks over it and they told me the spider bite that I had it was cellulitis it gave me cellulitis from the bite which made my leg that when I got bit swell up like a blimp <laughs> I mean, my, my sucker leg was huge. <laughs> I mean, for real, it was like this big. <laughs> and... <laughs> Not, I think this time, a few months ago, I don't think it was last year, it might have been year before last is when I had cellulitis last, the last time. Anyway, the last time when I had the cellulitis, they tried to give me antibiotics through a IV, through an IV. But it didn't work. <laughs> See, the last few times when I had cellulitis, they always gave me an IV. But this last time, about a year ago, or whenever I had it, you know, they tried to give me an IV, and it didn't work. <laughs> My body kept resisting it. <laughs> My primary doctor, he thought I had like a bone infection. He kept hollering, bone infection, bone infection. And I told him, I said, I don't have a bone infection. Because number one, I don't have any broken bones. <laughs> Number two, I take care of myself very, very well, as much as I possibly can. <laughs> and number three, I don't have any broken bones. Hello! To the way I was feeling, how I said I was feeling down for myself, I have to learn not to take things to heart so personally because I think that's another issue that I'm having. Like, I want to please people, I don't ever want to make somebody mad at me. Because I can't stand it when somebody's mad at me. It just kills me when somebody's mad at me. And that goes for anybody. I don't want to make 
anybody mad at me. I don't want to make anybody hate me. But I have to realize that I'm going to make people mad. But that doesn't mean they're going to stop liking me or loving me. It just means I tick them off. They need a breather. <laughs> and they still love me. Sometimes I just need a fight. A high five in the face. <laughs> I do. Sometimes I just need a freaking high five in the face. <laughs> long video <laughs> I apologize for that <laughs> I just got a funny memory My mom, <laughs> my mom was watching TV the other night, might have been last night she said this, anyway, <laughs> she was watching TV last night, and apparently there was nothing on TV, it was the night before last actually, so there wasn't anything on TV, so she said, I'm burning the <laughs> TV because there's nothing on and I'm not watching it. I'm sitting here doing other stuff. Not watching the TV. So I'm burning the TV. And I'm just going to shut it off. So she turned the TV off. And I had earbuds in. Because I was in here. Working on the computer. With earbuds in my ear. So I didn't hear what she said. I heard. I could tell she was talking but I couldn't understand what she was saying so I was trying to listen to her and what do what I was doing at the same time and from what I could hear <laughs> what I got out of what she said it's <laughs> it sounded like she got tired of the TV and she and she was gonna burn it down. gonna burn the TV day. <laughs> oh, I got a big kick out of it. I'm tired. That's why I keep closing my eyes. I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> but yes, I said, you're gonna do what? You're gonna burn you're gonna burn the TV down. <laughs> she said. <laughs> she said, "No, Miranda, I'm not gonna burn the TV down." <laughs> she said, "Have you ever heard of you're running 
Like, I forget how she worded it. <clears throat> it's basically saying, except you're, you like, okay, let's take a cell phone, for instance. Like, you use your cell phone constantly until your battery runs down. Well, <laughs> that's basically what she meant. Except the TV is not on battery, it's just hooked up <laughs> to electricity. <clears throat> but you guys get what I'm saying. But anyway, I just thought that was the funniest thing. <laughs> but that's that's not what she said though. She didn't say she she was gonna burn the TV down. <laughs> she just said she's <laughs> she's overworking it because there was nothing on TV. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done now. Uh, thank you guys for listening to this video. The whole reason I wanted to make this video was to tell you guys thank you so much for subscribing to me and, you know, willing to take the time to get to know me. Because you guys, even though I don't know you all, on a personal level, you guys are really good friends. I do consider all of you, you know, really good friends, even though we don't know each other on a personal level. But I would like to get to know all of y'all. <laughs> that would be so cool. But yes, thank you so much for taking the time to get to know me and to want to be my friend and all that good stuff. I love you all and appreciate you all. So I guess that's about it. Love you all. Peace. And God bless. <laughs>